Hi, so in my last video I talked about how covering one eye is really starting to help. So in this video I want to go into why that might be and what could be going on. So I have two conditions, I have hyperopia, that's just long-sightedness. Um, I also have convergence insufficiency, so that means your eyes have a problem coming together and uh, convergence insufficiency can hide um, long-sightedness because the eyes are making the extra effort to accommodate. Um, so it can be really quite difficult to pick up. That happened with me. Um, and the other thing that can happen with convergence insufficiency is that the eyes start fighting with each other. Um, so that can make looking at things really quite uncomfortable. Um, so that has definitely been my experience. Um, so, we all have um, one eye which is dominant and it's usually the same eye as our hands. So my right eye is dominant. That means, um, say if you put your hands in a triangle like this and hold them out and alternate which eye you're looking at. What's in the distance will, say, will stay the same through the dominant eye. For the non-dominant eye, you'll see the position of things shift. So my right eye is the dominant eye, but my left eye sees things better. Um, so my right eye, I'll actually see a little bit double and things will be a bit um, not as bright. Um, whereas my, my left eye it sees things more brightly, um, has a bigger tendency to spasm. So I think what is happening is that because my left eye actually sees things better, it tries to take over, but it's not the dominant eye. So this results in this sort of fight that goes on, um, which uh, phys physically feels uncomfortable because, for instance, if I'm looking in the distance through my normal glasses and stuff starts to clear, um, but just before it does, my left eye jerks, tries to jerk out of the way. Um, and so I have that going on all the time. And what I've done with these glasses is, uh, so I use these for reading, I've actually put something opaque over my left eye um, so that, you know, the light can come in, but I'm not fighting, um, my, my eyes aren't fighting with each other, um, but I'm starting to use my right eye to kind of remind it, you, know, you are the dominant eye, you do the work. Um, and that does seem to be helping calm things down, actually. Even when I've got my normal glasses on, as, as you can see. Uh, so that helps. But what might have happened is, um, because I'm long-sighted, that might have crept up. Well, it did creep up without me knowing it. Um, and I may have been overstraining my dominant eye. So as my dominant eye adjusted to near work that I was doing, um, it, you know, the adjustments meant that it started seeing not so well. Maybe it got an astigmatism. Um, so I ended up with my left eye trying to, to take over um, because my right eye was overstressed. I, th I think that is a part of what may have happened here. Um, but anyway, um, I talked 
in the last video about what I'm doing about it, um, you know, how it's working. I've been doing it for a few weeks now, at least a month, and I'm finding a big, big difference. So that is really, really good. Um, this is actually explained really so well, the whole thing between um, accommodation um, and convergence insufficiency and long-sightedness on a channel um, called Myopia Profile. Yeah, funny enough, it's called Myopia Profile, but uh, th there is a video explaining um, where convergence insufficiency comes into it and explains so well how um, hyperopia and convergence insufficiency really fight against each other um, to the point where they almost cancel each other out but not in a good way because it makes both conditions hard to pick up and um, treat obviously. So yeah, talking of treats, this is how much better um, I've, I've become. So I'm going to actually read something um, and it's called Soga om Gunhil Gunlaug Umstunga um, Gunlaug Worm Tongue. So, yeah, you know, nice, nice, easy reading. So, I just demonstrate because before what I was doing was I had nothing for it but to just go like this, hold it really close, um, and that is just so uncomfortable. But, uh, with these which are a plus five so they are quite a bit lower they're not going to go lower <laughs> for anyone who asks but this is uh this is comfortable i mean i've still got things going in and out of it um obviously i'm reading with my weaker eye i'm still learning to relax the eye but this is just comfortable um i read stuff i want to read and like I say, this is, this is a bit of easy reading, um, so Om, om Sommeren Buddha Tustein Seid Til O Fara Til Tings Og so Til Jufrid Konesi For Han For Hem Hem Fra De A So At Du Ar Med Barn Och det barnet ska du lå bena ut om du följer en jente, men först det upp om det blir en gutt. Så, so, okej, okay. <laughs> I shan't inflict any more, but that is just suddenly how much easier it's um, become. And what happened was, I think, because... Um, I had been wearing uh, plus four and a half um, for, for quite a while and then what I needed went up and it did need to go up. I, I do genuinely have um, quite a high prescription eventually, um, it's like something up to plus ten at least for reading. Um, no, plus 10, that's just for normal. So it would be a couple on top of that for reading. Um, but what may have been happening as well is that um, as soon as I actually started seeing through the glasses, what I noticed was my eyes were getting into a fight and it was getting uncomfortable. So I'd put on the, you know, the next higher pair, the next higher pair. Um, I mean, that in itself isn't a problem, um, you know, I wasn't doing anything bad by doing that, but it was just that because, um, 
the, the convergence insufficiency really had gone under my radar um, because the hyperopia was more of a pressing thing. Um, so I was addressing as much as anything the fact that my eyes were fighting with each other as much as the refraction. So I've taken it back down a bit, um, even though I still wear my 12s for every day. I am using um, other glasses with, with the occlusion on, um, for certainly for a part of every day, which, um, which helps. So that is, that is my understanding and my thoughts on what might have happened and um, you know what is working now what what will probably work in the future so yeah um, yeah I really hope uh, this was interesting maybe it helped maybe it's of some help to anyone watching uh, so yeah please like and subscribe and hope to see you in my next video